Welcome back. Well, I'm sure you've been enjoying our conversations here in the studio today. Simeon and I are having a fantastic time. And of course, we have so much more to bring you. As right now, we have in the studio with us Christabel Silver John, and she's from the foundation Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. She advocates for quality education, healthcare, and empowerment. And I am sorry, Simeon, but we have another fantastic woman here. In I don't the know studio what it, it is today. I don't know if the producers of the show decided just have decided to set me up today. First, we had you know Florence who came to talk about gender. She says she yes. has gender bias. She's a feminist, and now we have another empowerment. Still, yes. women empowerment. Anyway, at least I'll just calm down that yeah. you brought me Mr. Ideal Abuja. I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, it's let's say pleasure. because uh, March is usually a month set aside to celebrate exactly. the women. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so I believe maybe so. it's, not, it's not a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we start the conversation, I'd really love to ask you this one, you know, Christabel. Your name is Christabel. Mm -hmm. Silva. Mm -hmm. John. John. Yeah. Are you Nigerian? <laughs> yeah, so let me start with that. I am a Nigerian. Please, where are you from? Because I, you can't be Nigerian, you don't have any <laughs> local name at least. I do, I do. But you know, people know me more with this name. Okay, what's the local name? Ijoma. Uh huh. Ijoma is here with us. Like an Ijoma. <laughs> So how do the Ijomas look like? I don't know. I don't but know. Don't ask me. Uh, but yeah. Ijomas are beautiful. Let me leave ah, it at that. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the compliment. Anyway, welcome. You know, Christopher Thank you for coming. Thank you very coming. much. Thank Our name you. is Christopher Silva. John, leave the Ijoma later. The husband will call us. Someone else will call us. That, eh? Because let's talk about what you do on your foundation. Education. As much as, you know, uh, the month of March is the month basically for celebrating women mm -hmm. and in celebrating women we just had to drag you on here because of the activities and what you've been doing mm -hmm. in empower women when we talk about empowerment you empower them in, in education you know in finance in healthcare. you know in healthcare in so many ways and using your foundation so far since you've been doing this what is that fulfillment you've been getting and what is the inspiration behind or you know the mind behind starting this in the first place okay the fulfillment is that when i see people grow development i i, I don't want to leave one where i met the person mm -hmm. i want whereby in the next a few years a child looks back and says, if not for this person i won't be where i am today mm -hmm. that's the fulfillment and i draw the inspiration from my dad i tell everybody who i meet my dad is my role model my dad is the kind of person that laid so much emphasis on the girl child. Mm -hmm. We have, he had four boys and two girls, but he laid so much emphasis on the girl because he believed in the power of a woman. He didn't make us feel less that maybe because we're women, you can't achieve anything, you can't go to school. He invested in us. And that was why I grew up and I said, I need to do the same thing because I grew up in the North where women were left at the background. Yeah nobody wanted to hear their voice mm. you want to talk everybody's like no you're a woman you don't have the right to talk yeah. says who for christ's sake we're all the same thing the only thing that makes us different is just some of the features in our body yeah. let the woman be the one to say i cannot do this mm. yeah. don't force her to say keep quiet that you can't do it yeah. so and that was what propelled me into starting what we we started because i looked at the non and i said no if we must get a balanced society we need to also help the women grow, give them a voice. And how do we start? We need to start from the girl child. They say train up a, a girl and you have trained a nation. Yeah. But if you train a boy, you've just trained one single person. Yeah, that's very true. I don't know the passion of men today. <laughs> I've been serious. But I will take it. I'll swallow it because I'm also a no, girl but, child. No, but no, no, the problem is mm -hmm. we also try to balance it. Yeah. I I tell people I said I Take mind from the angle gender equity. Mm. I do not naturally preach gender yeah. equality. equality yeah. No. Yeah. What I believe is that what is good for the goose is good for the gender. Mm. Yeah. If we don't, if we keep pushing only the girl child and we take take care of the girl, package them well, and we don't take care of the boys, we we'll end up allowing the girls to fall into yeah. the wrong hands. Yeah. Yeah. So to have a balanced society, you also need to raise yeah. the boys balance. well. That's actually brilliant. So, so that's what we do. I, uh, we're not just just not just concentrating on the yeah. girls alone. We also focus on the boy. Wow. Well, Christopher, yes. I want to know specifically what kind of empowerment you do to help these people, and you mentioned healthcare as well. How do you help these women? Because we're still battling um, child, um, sorry, mother mortality, mortality rates, rate, which I mean, is very high. Yeah, which is very high. So, how are you empowering these people, and 
What exactly are you doing in the healthcare to help this? Woman? What we do, we take healthcare delivery down to their doorstep. Okay. Okay. We organize health outreaches at the community level. We go sensitize them on the importance of taking care of their health. You know, some of these people, one, will I say ignorance, mm -hmm. you know, lack of knowledge, lack of resources. Mm -hmm. Poverty. Poverty. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. When they have health challenges, mm -hmm. they just go maybe run to a nearby chemist. Yeah, just buy no it. prescription mm -hmm. from any doctor and they will just go by. Like, I grew up in the north, I will hear yeah, most times, Kabani Jada Yellow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, no, let me explain it. There's this yeah. particular uh, yes, yes, antibiotic yes. that is yeah. yellow and red. Yellow and red. You know, uh, mm -hmm. tetracycline, yeah. to be precise. And when they come, like when they have kids who are running stomach, Kabani Jada Yellow, Kabani Jada Yellow, you know, like that. Not knowing if that is what the child needs mm -hmm. at that time. So ignorance, lack of resources. Mm -hmm. So we take this information to them. We also organize where we bring in doctors. We organize tests, have people from the lab test these people. When we find th those who test positive to whatever test we, mm -hmm. we're organizing at that period, if it's what we can treat at that place, we do. And for those we can treat, we refer them to the hospital where they get the better oh, treatment. Okay, okay. Proper, for proper management. Yes. Okay, amazing. You, you've been talking about uh, what you've been doing empowering society. I know that as much as you're empowering women, you're also doing it for you know the male folks as well. Now, seeing all you've done, let's talk about your activities, your recent activities, and looking at your scorecard. How will you score yourself? Have you? Can you look back and say yes? To an extent, we've achieved the essence of starting our kick, starting this empowerment program in the first place. Yes, I will. I will say that. I will say we have achieved. We may not have achieved so much because we really don't have the resources at our hands. Mm -hmm. But from the little resources we have, I can tell you we have done so much. Mm -hmm. Like the recent program we had at Jidu Primary School, mm -hmm. where we came and we saw a lot of kids without school shoes, socks, no books. Mm -hmm. Some of them came to school without the proper uniforms. Not because they didn't want to come with the right items, but because they didn't have them. Yeah. So we breached the gap whereby we work with community leaders and some of these kids who we find them who are not going to school, who hawk when others are supposed to be in school. Yeah. We take them back to school, we enroll them, pay their fees and then supply them with the basic school supplies that is needed. Wow. That's fantastic. Mm. Wow. That's really, fantastic. really amazing. Good to know what you're doing to empower, you know, Nigeria. And you can have, you, have, you know, a certain percentage of people doing what people like you are doing. Mm. I, I know that's poverty, zero on guy that we'll be talking about. Uh, it, we'll get to see it improve, mm -hmm. especially in Nigeria, trying to meet the SDGs mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. We must say thank you so much uh, for coming. Thank you. Uh, Christabel, I, I'm tempted to call you Joma. Because, you know, <laughs> one thing we do, especially those of us from the southeast and south south part of Nigeria, our name is Nkoyo. Hey, well, when we come to town, my name is Anastasia. It's fine. It's no, no, not really. You know why I adopted the name? If you okay. go, all my credentials bear this name. Christabel. Yes. Mm. So it's easier for people. It doesn't swipe at you. I'm just saying. I understand. No, 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 no. no. I'm just trying to uh, let you know why. It's not okay. as if I don't bear my local name. I yeah. do. I'm so proud of it. Okay. Yes. Anyway, thank you, Ijoma. Christabel for coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure. Anyway, now just one more word. Please. Okay. I want to also use this medium to encourage each and every one of us mm -hmm. to invest in education. Yeah. If we want to see a better society, then we must invest in education. Okay. Because these children we don't take care of today yeah. will end up haunting us tomorrow. Mm. We see the level of crimes everywhere. Some of them are trying to get back at the society because they were neglected. Okay. No love. Okay. 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 Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And now we wrap things up on this conversation. Moving Thank on you. to the next. We'll be right back. Okay.